All right, welcome back to a new, brand new series. Uh, it's called Banishers: Ghosts of New Eden. It came out uh, at the day of this recording. Came out probably like a week or two ago, like a week and a half. I've heard this game a long time ago, and it finally came through. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got, I got a notification saying Banishers is out. I'm like, finally, it's good. So basically, I was thinking about doing pans mode. So I played the game a little bit. I got like two and a half hours in of progress. And I was like, nah, this game is kind of too easy. I don't I don't need pans mode. So this gameplay is just going to be all legit. No pans mode, cheating mode. What you can tell from the game is it is extra. It's like ghost hunting, murder mystery cases, and all. Oh, there's, and there's like multiple. There's like two endings. That's, not, that's all I know. It's basically a whole bunch of dialogue and what what not a bunch of reading I'm, I'm not gonna read the documents I'm just gonna stop and let you guys pause the screen because that is just too much too much to read all right and that note let's start this new series I was on my first playthrough I spawned an easy and it was, it was kind of like it was I was not really losing HP like I hardly had to use any of my bottles it was just normal I mean, it doesn't lag I had like all high settings and I was doing a little bit FPS. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss, in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something is bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Ante, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many entangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. 
I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. Yeah, it's like I said, it's gonna be a whole bunch of dialogue in this game. Like, very storytelling. I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim, faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. I think we can get through here. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. Looks steady enough. Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over in the places. I don't think I, I think I have motion blur on still. Let's see how that works with this game. Yeah, it's basically the same as like a as a Dark Souls feeling. Call this a fight? Okay, these are like the big creatures. Everything all right down there? Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same. I managed. Are these spectres watching the road? Maybe. But are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? And you always want to try and loot this stuff too. All these flowers and herbs. It's but you're basically this whole game is you're like an exorcist. That's, that's what basically it is. Behind you. Oh, dead corpses. Yeah, as easy as falling off a box. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever And it's gonna pop up a whole bunch of stuff about uh little moves you can do. Time to banish.
Yeah, for, yeah like I said, there's gonna be a whole bunch of reading and a whole bunch of notes. I'm not gonna be reading all because it, it's just way too much. So I'm gonna just pause, you guys just pause it, give like five seconds. Be really careful with the storyline, the background of the dialogue and such. Let's do that. This is when you're doing the, the murder cases. In town just a few days ago. It's just too much. What exactly is going on? Yeah. There's just so much backstory in this game that it's like kind of ridiculous. Sometimes these little rates have some like that all goes badly for the case. Situation is worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. Empty docks in a growing settlement. Not a good sign. Other times, selectmen sit on their arses. Isn't that what selectmen do? I like how the game just now tells you how to sprint. New Eden Town, look at that. You're welcome in committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. Yeah, this place is kind of a decent size. It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? Or oh, has this stuff? <laughs> Esther wouldn't dare, and we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. <laughs> I remember you telling her. Yeah, so you see, like I said, I've only played this game for two and a half hours. It yeah, pay attention to dialogue because while they talk together, they have like pop up questions like that. And now I don't know about this investigation. I think it's, I believe I had to talk to someone close here. I need to talk about the end. I know, I think I talked to that. Good day, sir. You'll be Haskell's banishers, I take it. Antea Duarte. This is Red McGrath. Pew Bachelor. The governor had me prepare the schoolhouse for your comfort. It has fallen out of use. Will that be all? Um, it only works. I think you've answered both of them. We're expected at the tavern. Where might we find it? The King's Arm. You can't miss it, for the lamps are lit. The school is now a bunkhouse, and the meeting house cold and dark. But the tavern shines yet. Well then, let us be thankful for small mercies. Where are the children? Several died of fever. We could see disaster coming. We thought we'd have to bury them all. We sent the children to safety. We sent them away. That can't have been easy. It can't be easy now. No. No, it is not. Every Farewell, Mr. Bachelor. And you may wish us luck. Good luck, then, to the both of you. Yeah, but you're gonna have uh, multiple options and, and different dialogue. Basically, select all of them. Until you get like to the main point. I don't know about this investigation uh, investigation thing. I think I ran past this. I, I saw this before. Like I don't think I ever solved it. I don't think I have the ability. Yeah, I don't have the ability. To do the investigation there. Because it was like when you come back. Oh, I do like the map though. The, the map is kind of huge. There's the inn. Hmm. 
Jolly, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is cold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is thick skinned Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. What do you think happened? I could guess, to little use. It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home, and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. 
But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. What do you think caused the curse? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden, bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right, for Charles. Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago when many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken, perhaps forever. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that, like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land, and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said, as the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock, as Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is. But we do it all the same. Because we must. Right. Because we must. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Yeah, like I said, the dialogue and cutting animations are a little... Maybe a long playthrough. Or we could just skip it, but... Play for the storyline. Damn it, Charles. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But, as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. <sighs> and here, Red. slept for fear you would not come. 
I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now. But I can't imagine it's the same. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated. But at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown. But his passion seems less than practical. He is an academic. Still... Good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin knew Smith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Charles thought so, too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. All right. May I be use any help? Mm, stay put. We'll find the way. How do we become some detectives? Or like I was saying, Where if you, you did this... It's basically like a whole murder mystery case of hauntings, and you, it's throughout the whole game. All these options, I haven't, I haven't gotten this yet. I mean, we're gonna get it eventually. I, I, I know what it is. It's good. But like I said, it be, this game is about murder mystery, ghost huntings, inspecting, finding clues. Sometimes it takes a little bit to do, there are some long missions. But overall, it's good, it's very interesting. Yeah, this is just the map stuff. In this region. This map is huge. That's all I know. All right, Stay let's continue. My dears. The governor had a room prepared for us in the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse? Wouldn't you rather stay here? We'd be more comfortable. <laughs> Very kind, but a long day ahead of us. I don't want to bother you. I don't have much. But promise me you'll come for dinner tomorrow. For all time's sake. Of course. Alright, like I said, in these haunting cases, there's a whole bunch of side info that you can look at, inspect, and see, like, the details. This piece is all on the, all on the hunting cases. So, like I said, I'm not going to read it. I'm going to stop and pause for a couple seconds, and then I'll let you guys read it, and I'll just leave it.
Purcell. Could you find nothing better? These days I lack the heart to play. I believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. This is Charles's. It's like he never left. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. Alright, I think that's it for the down. Oh, I don't know if I did this one. How pleasant to see these old, familiar things from your house in London. That porcelain saw many a dinner-turned-lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read, like we weren't there? Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Maybe. But there has to be more to it. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He was a good man. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? 
I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. Yeah, that's a very detailed, detailed map. Remember when he started to wear these to look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Hmm? These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Charles's ghost might give us answers. We should investigate the cemetery where he was found. Are you leaving already? We need to investigate the cemetery. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. Will you be all right? I doubt it. But I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Charles. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Aye. You too. Oh yeah, one thing is, this traitor... Yeah, if you go down below, there's a traitor. He's kind of useless. Sounding good. So I never really asked the townspeople at all. You'd be one of the banishers then? Come too late. I'm sorry. But if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your name, I have forgotten it. Antea Duarte. You may happen upon my companion, Red McGraith, about the place. Of course. I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The minister said you'd have questions. Well? Governor Haskell told us of the curse. I'd like to understand what it is and from where it came. While I'll not speak ill of my neighbors, someone must have let the evil in. Someone always does. I understand banishers often trade with the forces of evil. We do not trade. We deliver. 
A haunting may be caused by the errors of the living, but a ghost gets no mercy. Charles, Minister Davenport, said many here had unpleasant dreams. He suspected they were part of the curse. You are a curious character indeed, mistress. My dreams, good or bad or otherwise, are my own business, and so they shall remain. What are you doing out here? Most people seem to stay indoors. Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. My sister has a sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm some miles from here. And yes, the curse sits there too. Did you know Charles Davenport? Of course I knew the minister. My sister and I attended all his services, and grateful we were too. He was the moral foundation stone of the colony. His poor widow. She must be bereft. You may have your time back, with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. And she has an attitude. Do all these guys have attitudes? You're gonna be the same thing. I must take a moment by myself. Excuse me. I right, just head to the cemetery. Oh, I think it's down here. Yeah, down here. All right, this is the the traitor. Yeah, basically, like I said, this was a garbage. Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport, his death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. Tell me about the curse, if you will. Well, I'll tell you this. Those who dare defy the curse are brave indeed, and, I fear, foolish. Banishing is a job, sir, and to do it I need detail, if you please. A banisher must have charms, uh, trinkets, I mean, of protection. If you have a surplus, I'd happily relieve you of your burden. What I need right now is information about the curse. What have you seen that might help me with my work? I've seen famine, madness, the shadow of early death. Weather, too. So much weather. I mean, I've seen it all before, but never all at once. Here, it's everything, everywhere, and all at the same time. Folks stay indoors, waiting to be told what to do. Waiting to die, really. Ghosts in the making, all of them. The nightmares. Do you get them too? Of course I do. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks, nor moves. She seems to wish me no harm. She just stands there, watching me, waiting, taking my measure. Does she manifest at a particular hour? If she does, I have no way of knowing it, unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. Uh, I won't even charge you for it. <laughs> You're leaving town? As soon as possible. Did you arrive, I see? A ship lies at anchor in the bay. Perhaps a captain would take me and my wares to safety. The crew refused to dock, and I suspect they'll leave on the next available tide. We rode ourselves a show. Might I ask where you abandoned this rowboat of yours? Along the coast, 
by a path remarkable for its angry specters and bloody corpses. If you wish to make the sailing, I hope your wares can swim. Care to trade? Most of my goods are already packed, but I never refuse a deal. Yeah, except since all those goods are basically gone. It's complete garbage stuff. I mean, besides the wool and lin, I use for later on game stuff, but currently, garbo. All right. I'm just I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful. We do this like a, on Days Gone, and like make an hour-ish episode, and then each time, so all the dialogue doesn't milk the whole game. I know that there's a lot of dialogue in the beginning. It, it's so close to town. It goes down. It, it gets more action. It's just the beginning. Where are you leading me? Oh, now I can dodge. I'm so glad that taught me how to dodge. There is a lock and key though. And I just actually drink the potions, whatever. No one is safe here. No, it, it hasn't taught me about the, about the logum key. I think it's G for some Most reason. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. All I know is, whenever you see a plant, always want to collect Because you need a lot of it. Certain things. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to do like an, it seems like an hour plus. This episode might be over an hour. It's, it's going to be an over an hour episode. Just because of this part here. Yeah, this talks about how you can start doing some ghost activity stuff. I'll tell you when you get there. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Many dead in more recent years. It's not this one. It's over here. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. Found that, but first we gotta get down here because we're gonna need a resource for it. This stuff is very useful. The seashore, you always want to get this. Like one of the most required ingredients in this game. Uh, but I, I like how I just now talk about dodge and win. You already face multiple enemies already. Uh, I think it's a G to lock on, or is it? I think we could now do the ritual. I know there's something up here. Yeah. A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. So, on this one, you're gonna need the, the Harkening. Oh, that's a missing pyrite. With those plants, I think it should work. That's all I need. Yeah, you're gonna need a lot of pyrite. I hate these orbs. They're, ver they're very weak, but. Yeah, I'm going for a specter. So I can see the lock on key. I don't really use it, but it's gonna know what the button is. If I ever need to use it. Yeah, so pirate and seashore is like one of the most valued things. In each stain hides a story.
In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared! Be gone! You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I know you're here. You know me, ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. And I am here at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dantea. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Dantea, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. Why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising, despair growing. There were so many dead, Antea. So much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time.
How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seems amused. As if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. What did it look like? I... don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as... Esther. My dear Esther, I did not see its true face, but I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No, I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on you. Antea, wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh, Lord. Please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh, dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antea, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then, all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya, she gave him the care he needed. Right. Let's see. 
Here we go, shoot her down. My child. Where do you think he is now? He's... I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. I don't know if this garlic. Cemetery is like right in their backyard. I'm sorry. I'll miss him dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. Alright, so this is gonna lead us to the. I'm, I'm gonna end it here, but first, before I'm gonna do a little spiel. You see, I, I won't be able to finish this game 100% due to the fact that it has multiple endings and such. And I'm gonna choose a certain ending. I mean, I don't know what, what the outcome is, but you're, you're gonna see most likely next episode. I wanna, I'm gonna choose that ending. I think it's gonna be a bad ending, or an, it might be a bad ending, I don't know. But it feels like the right thing to do. Like I said, this game has multiple endings. And I won't be, I'll probably just do this like one playthrough of this ending. I don't think I'm going to do a whole other playthrough of the second one. So, it's just, it, because I was thinking of how long the game takes to beat. On like, the, the fastest for the PC was like 15 hours, but that's probably like skipping dialogue and just like speed on it. And I know there's a whole bunch of dialogue in this game that's going to take like probably 30, 60 hour gameplay. I don't know. Alright, like I said. I'm going to be playing this game legit, and I hope you guys like this new series, Banishers of Ghost of New Eden. And I'll see you guys next time. Even though I know that this episode kind of felt like kind of boring with all the dialogue, not enough action, but it'll get better. Uh, nope, I'll see you guys next time.